Welcome to quantitative reasoning solution session and we have our book 4 of Lantern Quantitative page 55 exercise 18b and we have this problem before us. Thank you to our subscribers for tuning in today and if you're a new viewer kindly subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning and mathematics solutions and problems. All right, so we have this problem. We have 7, 4, 11, 28, 3. And this example, we have 20, 2, 40, 22, and 18. So looking at this, we're going to solve. So let's find, to find 28. And we have 7 times 4 is 28 so let's see if it's going to work here 20 times 2 is 40 all right so we can go ahead to find 7 we have 28 divided by 4 is 7 and to find 4 we can actually use it to find the rest divided by 7 we have 4 all right so let's look at 11 so to find 11 to find 11 we have 7 plus 4 is 11 okay so to find 22 we're going to do 20 plus 2 is 22. So you've seen that it worked for this. You can also subtract. If you don't want to use this method to find 7 and 4, you can also subtract. So to find 3, find 3, you have 7 minus 4 is 3. All right. So let's do the same for this to find 40. So we have 20 times 2 is 40. And to find, let's find 22, which is up. We have 20 plus 2 is 22. And to find 18, we have 20 minus 2 is 18. Right, so we can also find 20 from either of this so to find 20 we can say 40 divided by 2 or we can also say 22 minus 2 you get 20 and to find to find 2 we can have our 40 divided by 20 or we have our 22 minus 20. Either way, you will get your 2. So do not forget to subscribe, like this channel, share with other learners and colleagues for more quantitative reasoning solution. Bye.